Hey folks, my knife here. Welcome to Let's Play Terra Farmcraft. Although we're looking at a different kind of farming right now for the next few episodes. Uh, as you can see, oh, let's go outside here and you can see it a little bit better. As I built myself a little bit of a, uh, this is the base at the bottom. That's of what's going to be the drop shaft down from the mob farm. And that, and this is the uh, drop bottom of the drop shaft here. Whoops. Bed's just temporary. Did I forget to fill something in? I might have forgotten to fill something in there, but we'll work that out. Um, now, one little problem that I discovered is, so I put another spawn protection meter in here, and you'll see it's full. Uh, it filled up after I'd just been here, like, working on this for two days, and that was even with me going back to the to uh, home base there to sleep, which is why I moved to bed in here, because it wasn't going to drive it up any further. So this fills up a lot faster than I thought it would and indeed looking at the wiki it's uh, uh, I think you get eight hours for every in-game hour you spend or something like that. I can't remember what it is but the net result is that it's gonna it's gonna fill up quicker than I thought it would so we're gonna have to wait longer in between when we can come back here and visit and grab stuff so so I'm not so sure how this is gonna work out. But anyway so I put in a, just a couple of little windows because I had two extra blocks of glass floating around. Um, I don't know there's much else to see here. Uh, do I have everything? Oh yeah, so I went and uh, grabbed a bunch of the wood. I should actually, I've got a bunch of it stacked up back over here I should grab while we're at it. Actually, I guess during the next off-camera period I should... Uh, move some of these stacks uh, over by the uh, <laughs> what I call the bunker you see I spared no expense on the beauty of it and we won't quite be able to fit this one all in okay And I guess we might as well head up top. Since that's what we're going to do next. Uh, before we do, my feet are at 144. Okay. And uh, I don't know if you remember. Did I miss one? No, didn't. Okay, good. Uh, at the end of the last episode, I said I wanted there to be some nice solid stone at the bottom in case the creeper explodes. So that's why I've got this here. But for the rest of it, I'm just going to use cheap old cobblestone. Yeah, so it turns out, I hadn't really looked into it before, but the densest way to carry wood around you is actually as logs. Because, you know, if you look at it, I can in one stack I can carry 16 logs. Now, if I saw those up into planks, uh, I'll get 8 planks each of those. And I can only store 32. Uh, I can only store 32 planks in a stack. So, uh, so that would give me 4 stacks. So one stack of logs turns into 4 stacks of planks. So it's just, it's way denser to store the... Uh, Store the wood that way. Whoops. Fillite. Don't really like the looks of fillite, but I'm not after looks for this. So what was I down at? 140? 141? Okay, 141 I think it was. And then... 141, we want to be up 23, so uh, or at least 23, so that would be this here. Okay, uh, let's cross over to here, and let's go out a bit. Okay, now how do I want to do this? The hole is, yeah, I want the channel too wide. Oh, that's right, the, cha the hole 
Ah. Uh, do I really? Does it matter? I won't get spiders if I don't make the channel at least too wide. Well, there's a bit of an error rate off the start, but it won't won't hurt me yet as badly as it might because because of the fact that I did use cobblestone for most of it because that means the cobblestone will fall down when I start mining it out from below. But yeah. Whoops, I should have thought of that. But I would want this to be too wide. Okay. And, well, actually, I'll put that there for now. Oh, I always hate working at heights. And well, let's finish off one more of these at any rate. Yeah, let's see. Should have enough room. Yeah, there we go. Gives me another stack right there. It's going to be a little painful to get started here, that's all. Since I'm doing a lot of this kind of off the cuff, like I said in the previous episode, so I've never built one of these before, uh, just to avoid me falling in a place where I don't want to fall, let's do that. There we go. Okay. So I'm going to have a pad, three high, running along here. So let's emulate that like so. And then there will be a gap. Two wide gap like that. I guess we might as well convert the rest of these while we're at it. Uh, better put a torch or something up here. Just in case I get far enough away that the mobs can start spawning again. Um, okay. Oh yeah, that and that. Put that there for momentarily. And for starters, I'll just I'll just put out, set it up for two pads in each direction. Just so I can get the uh, get the pattern set up, and then make sure that it actually is uh, <laughs> going to work out the way I think it is. Since I've already discovered the one problem. be the next 3x3 three three pad. Not that way. Okay. Hmm. Guess we had... Whoops. Guess, well, that would work too. I gotta stop another one of these. Yeah, let's get them all formed up into plank blocks. Not going to be doing that for a while. Alright, what's that pad done? And that's that pad done. Okay. So all these pads that have torches on them are going to be the spawning pads. The two deep channels are what the monsters will just wander into since I have no water to, to push them. I'm just going to have to hope that they eventually wander their way around and push each other down the hole. I know. 
seems like a long shot, but in theory, if we get enough of them up here, it should happen with pretty good regularity. That's the hope at any rate. Uh, so I still have to put, uh, put walls up and put a roof on it. And, uh, so hopefully I have a whole bunch more, uh, Uh, I got a couple of more willow trees there, but so it could take some time. So anyway, um, oh yeah, that was the other thing I was going to do. Where do I want to do it? Actually, what's this is probably as good a place as any for it. Do do do. Oh, except actually, it's, it'd be better off round. Hmm, actually. I know, it's all just meaningless muttering to you, but don't worry, there's a plan. Actually, yeah, this would be a good place for it here. Okay. All right. This is going to be my way back up. Just leave those filled in for now. So the only other thing is I've never taken a dive from these sorts of heights before in Terrafer. Oh, actually, I should get rid of these areas because otherwise mobs could spawn on them. All right, so I assume that the physics are the same as in vanilla and that this won't kill me. Let's find out. Oh, good. Oh, joy of joys. Okay. Oh, that worked out perfectly. <laughs> No, I'm doing it wrong. Well, it may have worked out perfectly, but I didn't do it perfectly. Huh. There we go. Whee! Okay. Although I guess jumping in the water is going to be faster way now. Okay. So that's all set up. Looks pretty, huh? So I'm gonna have to go and chop down some more uh, some more trees to make the rest of the walls and the uh, roof, and that's gonna be boring. So I'll see you when I'm done. Bye. Okay, I'm back. I'm skeptical as to whether I have enough wood to finish off here because there are only uh, three willows left. But let's see what we can do. Uh, better make my pillar a little bit higher as well. Oh, actually, the wall's going to have to go there, isn't it? Okay, well, wall doesn't have to be made out of uh, this stuff. Okay, here we come. So this is probably going to be pretty boring, so uh, same sort of deal, I'll probably bring you back in after I've 
after I'm done with it all. Okay, well, that's all the walls up. And we have one hole to fill in there from before. And now to put the roof on. So let's see, how do I want to do that? Like that, I think. Actually, I should leave this open. Well, before I do that, let's do that. This is going to be my escape route at the end. Yeah, just too high. But I am going to have to uh, get some more wood. All right, well, maybe I'll finish it off in sequoia or ash or something else. I mean, you know, if it really bothers me, I can always come back later and replace it, right? Right. Okay. All right. Here we go. Ah! We. Uh, oh, I guess I should have my sword in hand on the off chance that one of the heebly greebly shows up. Oh, I guess I should also be more uh, fully watered as well, otherwise I can't run. Oh yeah, and it is now November, and I still don't see any olives on this thing. Or are we into December by now? No, it's still November. So mine is early November, but, whoops, that's the apple tree, but no, I don't see anything on here that looks like it could possibly be an olive, so... So we'll wait and see, but I'm not hopeful. So now I'm starting to think that maybe the olives, you know, only bear fruit in warmer climes. So let's see. Um, yeah, okay, so there's no willow. Oh, wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, oh, oh I should have lots of willow here. Yeah, that's right. We'll steal it from the uh, fire pit. The charcoal pit, rather. Ha, <laughs> ha. <laughs> uh, let's do this. Whoops. Okay, that should be enough to finish it off. All right, meet you back up there.
Hmm. Okay, so, oops, don't want to do that. Uh, so the next thing I need to do in here, oh, I guess I have a couple of these things. Oh, I'm going to need those to clean up top, so. No point getting rid of them yet. But I'm going to have to do something about this. This plug. Hmm. Right, so that's the columns there. Those are the columns I built up. So for the hole, I want to go that way. Right. Oh, well, another tedious little uh, exercise here. See you when I make it down to the bottom. So we're going to have to open this up. And it's going to be like... Oh, is it? Whoops, that wasn't the one I wanted to take out, was it? No, it was this one. Don't need this one. So this ends up being a little bit more uh, crowded in here than I wanted it to. More symmetric, though. Well, I guess that should appeal to me. Yeah. Um, so in theory, spiders can get out of there. There's stuff I can do about that if I have to, though. How the hell did you get in here? Oh, you must have, I guess, <laughs> I guess at some point, oh, let's get in my way now. I guess at some point when this was still open, you must have gotten in through the uh, top. Okay, do I have enough of the smooth stuff? Well... Having to violate my artistic beliefs here. Okay. Oh, and even then, I won't have enough. Yeah, so I gotta go dig myself up some more of uh, this smooth slate. So, back in a bit. Ah, nice sunset. Well, it may have only been a second or two for you guys since I uh, went off to get the last of that slate. But back in the real world, it's been two months. Yeah, the first month of that I was sick. You wouldn't believe how many sniffles I had to edit out of the uh, the first section of this. Um, and the second month of that was a combination of getting caught up in work and general lassitude. If you're not familiar with the general, he's an old family friend who visits far too often and stays too long. All right, um, so rather than force you guys to watch me pillar up here, I went and uh, I got up at least this far. You can see we're almost there now. 
the other thing I need to do here, quite essential, is to, assuming it still works the same way, I got to put some signs in here. And that's so that the mobs won't realize that this is an open pit of doom. So they'll be more than happy to walk into the, uh, into the opening. Okay, let's finish off here then. And has that got it all around? It does indeed. And uh, we can put you here. And now clean you out. Hmm. Can I reach that way? Ah. Hmm. Perhaps I shouldn't have thrown that one away so soon. Uh, well, we do, we'll do this here. One there. There we go. And actually, knowing me, let's just do this for now. I gotta go clean up all these uh, torches first. Okay, that's my escape hatch there. So let's go do this side first. Okay. Oh, might as well get this guy. Since. Can I do this? Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, where's me axe? Three. Get rid of that guy. Oh, the three, that is the uh, key to which I have my axe bound. Oh, yes, yeah, over here. Get this guy. Get this guy. And, yeah, we can even do that guy. It's only because I am such an ace at jumping about. Okay. Okay, so it's only this side left, so now it should be safe to get rid of these things. And our pit of doom is now open for business. There we go. You know, if we get really lucky, you know, a zombie will spawn up here, pick this up, and bring it down with them. No, I don't really think that'll happen, because... It'll take too long for the zombies to spawn. Okay, well, this is this is it. The only part I have to be careful about here is if I step out too far, I fall. Yeah, there we go. Well, actually, I should just jump down. I keep forgetting I can just jump into the water. Okay, so uh, grab this stuff here. And I guess we should kill these lights. I'm not sure if the lights down here matter, but for now, until I know better, that's what I'm going to do. Ooh, I wonder if the light from this matter. Ah, it can't possibly matter up there. Nah. Oh, that's right. There's monsters outside, too. Oh, crap. Multiple. Well, let's head home. Hopefully we won't encounter too much crap along the way. Aye, aye, oh. Skeletons. You can tell it's been a couple of months. Oh, I need to drink too. So I can run. Yeah, drink and run. That's this game. Whee! Alrighty. Uh, I don't think we have anything else on the go here. Like I say, it's been quite a while. We don't... Oh, we do have some leather. Don't know what I'm going to use it for. Uh, we got nothing else running. Okay, so now all that's left to do is to uh, allow some time, so uh, probably a day or two, for the uh, spawn protection to die out. And uh, then we can go over there and see if we're getting anything. So what can we do? I can just sit here and look at the pattern in the floor while two days pass. Lovely, isn't it? Yeah. 
or we could just skip ahead. I think that's what I'm going to do. So, uh, um, although let's see, I guess a couple of announcements. Uh, build, hi, oh, yeah, I die, you buggers. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so build 78 of uh, Minecraft is, or not Minecraft of Terra Firma Craft is now out. And it has huge changes, and I'm eager to uh, get to those. So this will probably be uh, the last video in the series, and, uh, and the next one will be the start of season two with Build 78 in it. So the only things we didn't get, the only thing we didn't get to here is we, uh, the only thing, haha, uh, we didn't really get to steal. We didn't do any uh, uh, steal stuff. Is we've got bloomery out here, open. We ended up making our bloomeries and we made some iron, but we never got to the point where we could make a blast furnace and uh, to make steel. And I think, if I remember correctly, that's because we never did find any graphite, did we? Ooh, we have an empty chest. Yeah. Graphite, actually, did we? Yeah, we didn't find any graphite. We must, we probably didn't find any kaolinite either. No, neither of them. So, and those two are essential, as we'll see maybe in Season 2. So maybe in Season 2 we'll get to it. Um, finding uh, ore, well, you'll see. Finding ores is a lot easier in B78 and uh, and minerals as well, and a lot more fun. Exploration is a lot more fun in the new version. And so they made some of the things that were grindy uh, a lot easier, like sitting here grinding up all your... Uh, grains in the quern that's a lot faster now in b78 but you know biox the uh biox and dunk who are the two main devs on uh terraform craft they wouldn't be who they were if they didn't you know when they give you something easy we also give you something harder so there's other things now <laughs> in the new version of terraform craft that are going to be harder so but that's for later right now i'm gonna cut out wait a couple of days and then bring you guys back in see you in a bit well, I'm sitting here trying to think how to pass the time while we wait for the uh, spawn protection to die out over there on the what will hopefully be the mob farm. And I figured what better way than to burn down the numbers. Yeah. Now, normally you'd just use a uh, flint and steel for that, but as I just got through noting, we don't have any steel. Never got that far. I've never seen a campfire set anything around it on fire, but, you know, remember when I started to burn my house down because I had wooden planking around the uh, uh, the fire pit, or the uh, pit kiln. So I figure, yeah, that ought to do the trick. So let's give that a try. There we go. Come on, do your stuff. Oh, there we go, there we go. Oh, you're going to tell me thatch doesn't burn? you got to be kidding me. Thatch? This is... That should be like the most flammable stuff in the game. Oh, that sucks. Ugh. Oh, come on, Biox. That should go up like Tinder. I mean, it is Tinder. That's just sad. That's just sad. All right, well, I'll find some other way to amuse myself. Maybe I'll go kill all the livestock or something. I don't know. Oh, see you back in a bit. Ah, yes. Remember this place from way back? And first, I'm pretty sure it was the first, I get, this is what I got up in the first episode. I'm not sure if it was, I don't think it was my first night's, well, maybe it was. I don't think it was my first night's uh, housing. I think that was, I don't remember. But it was pretty early on. It was either in the first or the second episode. Yeah. Well, the spawn protection went out a little while ago. And so I've just been wandering around giving mobs a chance to uh, to spawn. So let's go see if that worked at all. Yeah, I noticed when I was reviewing the video of my construction that I goofed on the height. And it's actually a little bit too low. Um, but that should just mean that they won't necessarily die when they fall. I mean, many of them will, but some of them won't. Well... I don't see anything here, so let's go up top and see if we got any mobs at all. It seemed pretty dark when I left, so I would think that there would be mobs in there. Oh yeah, I can hear them from here. Okay, so they do spawn. So 
So it might be that I just have to give it long enough. Yeah. So they do spawn. So that much of it works. I mean, I didn't know it wasn't on that much doubt, I guess, but still. But the question of whether they will eventually push each other down the hole, that, that's still an open one. But. All right. Um, this is going to be the end of the, uh, the series, though. I, I have decided that I am not going to try pursuing steel here. Um, just because so much has changed now, we might as well get into the new rules. Any of you who are watching this to like learn little tips and tricks for playing TFC, those tips and tricks, a lot of them won't make sense anymore uh, under the new version. So we might as well move on. So thank you for joining me in this series. It's been a real pleasure. I would not have kept it up if uh, I would have kept up playing, but I wouldn't have kept up doing the series if I hadn't had such great feedback from you guys. And that really does make it worthwhile. So thank you very much for your support. And I hope to see you in season two. Bye now.